Hi everybody, welcome to Astrology and Psychic Readings with Lady D. I'm your host for this segment, Lady D, at the new time of 3 p.m. here in Sydney. So with the planets for this week, um, we've got, we're still in opposition between Mars and Pluto. So where that's it's happened the past week and we're still kind of in that opposition. Um, so that can cause a little bit of stress for people, the opposition, opposition there. We've also got a try until the 13th. We've got a try from Mercury to Mars. That's giving you the strength um, and more confident in your communication with that. Um, we've got a square with Venus to Saturn. That's going to be a bit of issues there with finances and money. We've also got um, a sextile between Mars and Uranus, and it's till the 10th, and that's going to bring about unexpected strength or could be unexpected anger coming up. We've also got Venus. Is this going to be some sort of healing to do with issues that are causing you a bit of stress or with the turmoil? Because we do have this week until the 13th, we've got Venus try Chiron. We've got uh, all week Jupiter sextile Chiron, and then... On the uh, the eleventh, we've got Mercury try Chiron. So there's going to be some sort of resolution. I feel some kind of healing to do with something that's caused you a bit of drama, a bit of stress. Something's really caused you sort of some deep pain, deep, deep wounds here. Um, there'll be some kind of healing with that. We've also got an opposition between Jupiter and Venus, which is going to be until its fault. That's luck with relationships and uh, finances. We've also got on the 11th, we've got an opposition between Mercury and Jupiter, which is going to be luck with communication, so hearing some good news. And then on the 13th, we've got Venus moving into Capricorn. So that might be about holding, sort of holding back a little bit and being more level-headed when it comes to finances and relationships. It could be about making certain deals or really going into certain like partnerships, like business-wise. But I feel like it's something about like holding back and not getting too emotionally involved in um, in terms of financial obligations or partnerships here yeah, with with that transit. Um, we've got, I've got here, what else is coming up? I've got, um, there's more shocks in store coming up this week. And I feel like this week's all about cleaning up the mess. Um, it's also, I feel like it's like things, um, might be extended. So it could be delaying things or things being extended coming up. Um, and it's got here time for big changes, time to get ready for the next year. Got here time to turn the page and start a new chapter. So starting new things coming in. I've got here things can seem complex or complicated. And I've just got here just to wait, breathe and wait to see what's coming up and what's going to happen next in certain situations this week. Okay, so um, let's look at a little caller here. So we do have Michelle who's in um, Hamilton, New Jersey, in America. So, hello, Michelle, how are you? Hi, Danielle, how are you? I'm good. Um, how can I help you today? Um, well, I have some, like, exciting things going on with work, my business um, coming together, and uh, my book coming together, and I'm going to be sharing it in Paris in March, and... Uh, I'm just excited for like where my life is kind of finally taking off. And I just wanted to see how uh, my relationship is in handling all this and financially. And my, I just, whatever, whatever comes to you, I, I just want to know. Okay. Is your, um, your grandma on your mom's side? Is she also, is she still with us? She's here? My still? mom? Yes. Your, yeah. your mom's mom, your grandmother on your mom's side. Oh, my, uh, my grandmother. No, she passed away. Passed. Oh, okay. Because I feel her and I feel like she's very excited to be around you. She's very proud of you as well. Um, she's telling me that she was a classy lady. And I, I see her wearing her. I don't know if she wore her hair up because I see she's showing me wearing her hair up. Um, and like being neat and tidy. But she keeps on seeing it like, like an up style with her. And, I mean, I am seeing, like, light-coloured or grey hair with her, too, but she's um, she's very excited uh, with the, about the book with you um, that's that's coming 
that's coming up. Like she's telling me you're very little, level-headed and you're very like on the straight, straight and narrow too. And yeah, I feel like actually for, November, November 25th, I'll have 25 years clean and sober. Um, and my grandfather oh. was also uh, an a- alcoholic and he died at 33 years sober. So he was like my, um, my hero to get clean and sober. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> this lady, she's also saying that she's also like a business, she has like a business mind, like she's also good, like she's see with signing of documents, so it's like she's also, I feel like good into making certain decisions or like around business too, because she is showing My grandmother me grandmother or me? Grandmother. It's like Yeah, yeah, they her. had multiple businesses, my grandparents, yeah. Oh, because yeah. she's telling me that um, too. Because she just really likes being um, around you. There's also more business opportunities coming up your way also um, next year. I do feel like there's more than one book coming out for you. I feel like there could be two books that's coming out. Um, mm-hmm. I'm also getting – I forget when you said the, the book's coming out, but I am getting – I'm getting, getting March. But I also feel like you might be doubling into even going into children's books. Um, I see like a picture book, like a big book. So it could be a children's book maybe, um, but also you're about helping other people. But I feel like you're yep. going to have a business as well. Like you're you're having a business too. So I feel like there's other business opportunities coming to you and mm-hmm. you're not about going backwards. You're all about moving, uh, moving forward and you don't need anyone else's support. You can do this. You can do it on your own, I feel like. Um, mm mm-hmm. And you want to know about relationships? Let's have a let's, let's have a look. But she loves this lady. Loves you. This this love. She loves you a lot. Um, yeah. She she also or she's my grandmother. Bit, she. I get your grandmother. She. She's also quite. I feel like she's a little bit like she prayed because she told me that she's a little bit religious. She prays, so I feel like she's a bit religious. I she oh, was I very religious. She's, yeah, because she's praying. Um, but her. I don't know about the way you're. I don't know exactly where you're, where she was from, but she's showing me a church that's a white building. And it's yeah, like, that's my church um, now. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. So is it like cluttered? Is it like it's like the the cladding, like the wood, like the not brick, but like the the wood, like, like the I don't know. How, we say cladding here, so I don't know what you call it over there. They um, just did the whole basement. They did a whole teen children's unit down in the basement and gutted it out. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm seeing that that church. Um, I feel like they do a lot of good. That church. She, she's telling me they do a lot of good. So yeah. Now, in terms of your relationship, so you're looking at your relationship with your partner. I'm sure is what you're wanting to yes. know. Yes. I feel like he's the love of my life. I finally found him after two failed marriages. He's oh, okay. he's amazing. What I will say is that. You don't need a relationship. Like you're very strong, confident in everything you're going to do in your life. You can do by yourself. Like it's good to have someone there. Oh, I know that. But I just see, I just see you. You're you're very you're able to do like things um, on your own. Let's see when I connect mm-hmm. to this relationship. I mean, I feel quite good and quite positive about the relationship. It's like I'm in a little like love bubble with it. And I feel like it's quite protected. I'm seeing like um like it's there's things penetrate like penetrating it and it's 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 very this protection bubble is very strong too. I feel like this partner has a lot of like wisdom with him too, but he knows when to stand back. I see him sort of standing back and letting you take the lead, letting you sort of be in the front. And I feel like he's very he has does have a confidence in himself. But he allows you to do like he allows you to shine. When I say that, like he doesn't get, he's not getting jealous. He's not, um, he's he's happy to have that you have to spotlight. Because I feel like he's there, um, he's there to help. Is he also quite handy, like with his hands? Like is he able to build things himself? Very much. Or, yes. Because I, yes, yes, yes. I see him very like concentrating on, like on a project, like like building something, like or like um, like he's doing something. Oh, okay. Always in the very... garage. He builds Harleys and redoes them. Yeah, and sells them. Yeah. Oh, okay. But he's handy cool. around the house too. Like he knows how to do everything. You know. Oh, that's good because I, I just see him very focused on that. Um, 
I mean, I don't see, I'm not seeing a breakup for now. Like I'm seeing you guys together. And I mean, I am seeing like some sort of like road trip or car trip. And I do get like a, a, like a holiday uh, road trip for you guys as well. Like you're seeing different sites. I do feel like it's in America. Uh, might be going into Canada, but I see like you're going across a long bridge. I don't know where that bridge is, but I see a long bridge like on a, in a car crossing a really long bridge. I don't know if it's like a long mm. island or something. I don't know. Um, I just see a long bridge you guys going across, but I know it's a car. It's a holiday and you're seeing different sites. Like I see you going to the mm. beach, but I also see other the scenery that it's going to change where you go. But I also feel like you might be going, um, but I also see a trip to Canada as well for you. Where? I also feel like this Canada. But I feel like this book mm. signing is going – the book is taking you other – I feel like also your book is going to take you to other places. So I feel like the book is take is – there's plain travel, but it's to do with your book. So I feel like maybe you're going yeah. to do like a, like, a, like a tour here with the book um, uh, and you might be going to like Hawaii and you might be looking at expanding, going to like different – maybe different countries as well. But I do see everything yeah, like so I've been quite positive. invited to Dubai, Mexico. Uh, London, I'm going to Paris. I've been invited to speak at a, the United Amorites or however you say it. So I've already been invited to all these places to come. It's pretty wild. But oh, I'm definitely fantastic. going to Paris in March. Yeah. Fantastic. Because uh, yeah, I could see the plane travel and it's just like different. And I knew it's to do with the book. But I feel like that you're going to be quite busy over the next, I'm going to say two years. You're going to be very busy. Um, and I just feel like there's a little big spotlight and even maybe going to like to media, like talk shows too for you. Um, but yeah. I hope that I've helped you today. Um, and thank you for calling yes. in. Thank you so much. Do you see us getting married in a few years? Possibly in two years, possibly in two. I do see you in a white dress. Um, I get two, but it might be like an outdoor an outdoor, I, I, I don't know if it's a church, maybe there'll be a church, but I see, see you outside though. So there mm -hmm. could be a some Nature, outdoors. definitely. Yeah. Yeah, and one more yeah. question. Can I, do you see us buying a house in New Jersey or in Pennsylvania down the road? I, I get New Jersey. New Jersey sends out to me more than Pennsylvania. Yeah, okay. I figured. Okay. All right, thank you for calling in today. Take care. Thanks. Bye. You too. Bye. Okay. If you wish to contact me, you can. My website is Lady D Psychic Parties, and my uh, Facebook is Lady D Psychic Parties. My Instagram is Lady D Psychic, and my TikTok is Lady D Psychic, and my YouTube is Lady D. If you can't look underneath that, just look under Danielle Psychic. Um, so thank you, and I'll see you same time, same place next week. So bye for now. <laughs>